The governor is going to Switzerland looking for jobs. It's an international economic conference of more than 1,600 business leaders from around the globe. Our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, live in our Hartford newsroom with more on the trip and what the governor hopes to accomplish. Mark? Hi, Darren and Sonia. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. As you know, Governor Malloy has been to Washington, D.C. several times, actually many times, since he was first sworn in as governor a little over a year ago. As a matter of fact, he's going there tomorrow for another event, and he went to Afghanistan last year to meet with the troops. Now, a schedule of meetings with international business leaders in Europe is scheduled to be released within the next couple of days. The well-traveled governor will be spending four days next week at an international economic forum in Davos, Switzerland. The $4,500 price tag for the trip is being picked up by the University of Connecticut Foundation, which is funded by charitable contributions to promote the state's flagship university. I'm going to use it as an opportunity to make sure uh, that the international community understands that, that uh, Connecticut is changing. It's not the old sleepy Connecticut that, that accepted the uh, job loss easily. It comes on a day when the news broke that another old technology company is laying off its workforce. R.R. Donnelly & Sons, a printing company in Windsor, has notified the state labor department it's closing, eliminating over 100 jobs. You're always going to have what they call churning in an economy, where some businesses are growing, some are shrinking, some are coming in, some are going out. So the fact that one plant is closing is not unusual. Joe Brennan is with the state's largest business association. The key is to make sure your economy is vi vibrant enough that you're attracting more than you're, you're losing. The governor points to the Jackson Labs project and the improvements at the Yukon Medical Center that attracted them as the kind of thing he'll be promoting in Europe. That the door is open here and that he will use the state's bonding and loaning capacity to attract the kind of high-paying jobs that business is known for. Our efforts uh, um, uh, in bioscience are already paying dividends, um, and uh, I'm certainly going to be speaking about the level of commitment that Connecticut is making to bioscience. Davos brings together world leaders, CEOs of big global companies, as well as the leadership of many countries around the world, and so we, we view this as a great opportunity. Now, Commissioner Smith will be going on that trip with Governor Malloy, and her expenses will be picked up by state taxpayers. But the Malloy administration says that that's really worth it because this is really one-stop shopping for a lot of big-name European CEOs and could save travel expenses in the future. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.